making your own uh, karaoke mixes of songs is not only fun because you can sing over them, it's also a great illustration of a really important acoustical concept called phase cancellation. Uh, first, the concept. Here we have two sine waves, two beeps. Just a beep, right? Um, if I go into one of these, and I go up to Effect, and I say Invert, I'm turning the wave upside down. What was negative is now positive, and what was positive is now negative. If I go back and I look at these two things on top of each other, here's the original wave up here, here's the inverted wave down here, you'll note that wherever I drop the, the cursor, you'll see that there is a, a moment of positive pressure here, and then an equal and opposite negative pressure up here in the other wave. See? They're mirror images of each other. If I were to play these together, what would it sound like? Absolutely nothing. Total silence. They cancel each other out. That is phase cancellation. Now, how does that help us make a karaoke mix out of a song? Well, let's get a song here. Here's uh, Katy Perry. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to rock. All right, we know that song. Um, it's a stereo mix, like most songs. It's mixed in stereo. It's got a left channel and a right channel. First thing we need to do is we need to extract those out. Go into the sound, edit, extract channels to mono files. I now have two different files. One is the left channel and one is the right channel. And if I just take those and layer them on each other in my multitrack session here, here, there's my left, here's my right, and if I play it, uh, they're gonna sound, it's gonna sound exactly the same. I guess that I forgot I had a choice. Right? But if I were to go into one of them and invert it, effect, invert, turn it upside down, what was negative is now positive, what was positive is now negative, and I play these two together. Hey. Pretty cool, huh? What's going on here? Well, what's going on is that uh, by inverting the phase uh, and playing them simultaneously, I've canceled out everything that is common to both the left and the right channel. Everything that was the same between the left and the right is now eliminated, and everything that was different between the left and the right is what remains. Um, in most pop music that's been recorded and produced in the last 40 years or so, the lead vocal is always mixed straight down the middle. It's equally balanced between the left and the right, whereas the rest of the instruments are distributed across the stereo field. So by uh, doing this little phase cancellation switcheroo, we've canceled out everything that was straight down the middle in the mix and we're left with the things that were a little bit on the left or a little bit on the right. Let's listen again. <laughs> You can still hear Katie a little bit, um, sort of a, ga a ghostly, faint Katy Perry in the background. What I think that's from is that they probably used a stereo reverb or stereo echo effect on her voice. Um, so the voice is gone, but the echo effect is it remains, and it's still there. But it's really quite far back in the mix. You could totally sing over that, and and Katie wouldn't be heard. <laughs> Right? Uh, in fact, it's kind of nice to have her there as what they call a guide vocal to help you hit the right notes and remember where you are in the song. So that is how you make your own karaoke mix of a song. It works with any song in which the lead vocal is mixed straight down the middle, which is most songs made in the last 40 years. Have fun with it.